to make like in my space is that I actually want to make a shoe cabinet like I want to make updates in terms of like the home stuff that I wanted to do it's moving a bit slowly but that's okay so the cabinet is finally here and just on the outside it's absolutely gorgeous very neat very clean and it matches the aesthetic of my desk if you notice like the cover handles that we have on the desk we found same for here it's a bit on a higher level because i wanted more space and i wanted it to be i think i should have had it the same level as this because that would have made me feel better but anyways it's fine um i'm still just kind of playing with it you guys but I think I have just some concerns that I've discussed with him. I'm afraid that it's like not sturdy. So it kind of tilts forward and these hinges are very heavy. I'm still kind of like playing with it now though and just seeing if it's workable. Otherwise, if not, I'm going to have to send it back and see if we can't um, rework it. So that's where we are now with this so i'm just trying to fit all my shoes in to see a concern that i have is like the back like any flat shoes will just slide all the way through because um they just don't fit that well let's see okay that fits so yeah let me just play around with it because it's not horrendous but i'm just concerned about this top layer that the minute I open it, I think in the middle, it's more balanced. But when I open the top, watch, watch, the whole thing tilts forward. So, yeah, that is the in progress. There might be some reworks. So let me update you guys if we do. Chopping now number level three off, Sorry. and that's it. Huh? No, it's fine. It's fine. Cause sing sing, cause sing it begi lene la paleving kamanga kon. La paleving kamanga kon, and when it's torn, it's also blocking the mirror a little bit. So I think you know no even two levels. It's fine. Thanks for watching. It is a Saturday. It's the weekend. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling alright. 
um in the last vlog i was talking about that i want to do like home updates i wanted to make like a shoe cabinet as well as put some shelves up i had not bought all the shelves that will be going up on my desk so i've done that now i just need to figure out how to put them up and then the shoe cabinet was in progress it came because i needed to get that vlog up guys like i wanted it up quickly in the start of the month so it only came after and i think i showed you guys it wasn't really yeah it didn't really hit it didn't really hit so i had to take it back so there's that but it's fine i'll talk you guys over it again when i get the cabinet i'm in the parking of the mall right now and i want to go print my prayer board pictures ha ah. <laughs> look at me swiping in as if i'm coming into work no this is a different this is a different uh, i be acting like because um where i work it's the same parking company so i have a card for there but like here i needed to generate the ticket anywho Hey y'all, I really hope you can see me. I look crazy because I didn't even shower this morning. Like the way that like I ran out. Um, had nothing but coconut water for breakfast. So this is the Venga coconut water. Now, coconut water tastes like soap to me. But this one, mm, this one hits. I don't know if I said, I'm at the mall trying to hook up trying to print out my prayer board pictures um and i just want to like set them up here right now so that it can be locked and loaded so that's something i was supposed to do the other week as well but i just couldn't get around to it but let me just like load up th these pictures we'll go and print them up the lighting here is quite bad so i'm not going to keep talking i'll catch up with you guys on the other side it's not that full it's very you know minimal but it's just to be like clear and concise of the things that i desire that he has placed because i think that was my i'll be honest guys i was procrastinating this i think last vlog i was saying that i just wanted to make sure that i'm in alignment but what happened so i was like praying on it like still to be like i prayed god give me the vision and he did um but I, I just kept praying on that 
I guess I was waiting for confirmation. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, confirm to me that that's the vision um, that you have for me. But, you know, there was nothing. And I was kind of like waiting, waiting, waiting. And, yeah, nothing was coming through until it hit me. And I'm not, like, I think I was talking to a friend. And I'm trying to encourage her. And I mess around and minister onto my own darn self. Because I was just basically telling her that, you know, um, I think she was asking about my YouTube, etc. And I'm just like, you just have to start. Like, you just have to, like, um, get it going. And I was telling her a story where basically, like, I was like to her, you know, when God is silent sometimes, he wants you to take the first step. He wants you to take the faith step. And the minute I said that, I was like, it clicked in my head like, oh, that's why he's been silent. So... I was just like okay cool he was basically like yo i said what i said i said it the first time like i think some of us are just so like it's like it's a brand of fear but like some of us the reason that we procrastinate is more of like perfectionism or said differently perfectionism is a form of procrastination if you didn't know now you know because I felt like, you know, I, I needed more information. I needed, like, more guidance, maybe more pictures, maybe more, you know. So I was like, okay, Lord, give me more, give me more. And it was, like, nothing after that. So I was just like, oh, okay, let me go with what I have and put it up on the board sort of thing. And basically, it's just to say that, no, he said it the first time. And my friend said, um, when God is silent on you, it means he hasn't changed his mind. So proceed. You know what I mean? Like, not unless he says something different. He'll talk when there's, like, something new. But, <laughs> yeah. So, I just committed. I'm locked in. And we're going for it. 2024, we're here. I'm hyped up. Um, I'm hyped up. Giving the worship, just saying thanks in advance and receiving it. And, yeah. So, the time now is 3.41 and I've got my ministry class at 4. So I have to like prep for that quickly. Quickly. But um, yeah, nothing else for today. I'm just going to like chill. Like when I come back, I'm just going to like chill and we're going to make dinner with my family. Same old, same old every weekend. So I'm going to get to that and then bounce. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys, okay? what is up it is yet another saturday yet another busy saturday moving and grooving i have to catch you guys up later but essentially my cabinets are here well the updated cabinets and then i have the shelf situation in progress so i'll catch you guys up later when it's all done and yeah see you then okay Hey girls, so I am back. The time is 20 past 2 and I just had a lot to do this morning. But as you guys saw, I fixed my cabinet and I situated my shelves. So let me just show you guys like the work in progress thus far. So there they are up here. And then I, like I said, put my vision board um over just underneath so that i have a view of it but then also so that it's like a little bit on the private side so this is what the empty disc is looking like and yeah i think at this juncture i'm just gonna like give it like a quick wipe down 
I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down and then um, I'll set it up. But I wanna show you guys what I got. Uh. So I did, did get myself like a new lamp from Mr. Price Home. How cute is this boo so that has me getting rid of like my old lamp which wasn't bad i kind i liked it but i just wanted like you know the whole white scheme and then i got just some like new stationery of course from mr price home that i wanted to show you guys as well so i got like this like notepad sort of thing it's got the tags on the side and it's got sticky notes different types of sticky notes and then this sticky note here is like a to-do list sticky note. So I thought this would come in clutch, especially for my Bible studies, because I like it when, you know, when you're reading the word and something comes to mind and you just jot it down quickly. So that's what I'll be using these like post-its for. And there's many different types. There's even like the ones in the middle that are like round. And then this is a planner to-do list now i bought this before i saw this so it's giving a little bit of a duplication but it's not gonna be bad and then i got some photo frames so i'm gonna have like put some photos up as well and then for my vision board so i did set it up finally and i think what i'm gonna do today is just like clean it up a little bit so i have like a start but what I wanted to show you guys is the board that I used, I got from Mr. Price Home as well. And it was also this kit that was there. So as you can see, it's like, here's the board. So this is what my board looks like now. But then there was this kit that was sold separately and it's the vision kit and it contains a planning journal as well as 31 affirmation cards so if we just take a look let me just so it's like and then this is like the journal this is what it looks like and so it's kind of like a bullet journal so it's got like you know shorthand journal prompts there um today i believe today i hope for my main focus what i'm excited for some gratitude um and what i want to achieve challenges or obstacles what i need to do and then some notes at the end so i thought this was nice but what i want to add is that on my vision board i want to take a look at the cards like the affirmation cards that it's come with so it's got like stuff like i don't know if you guys can see this because it's back to front it's got stuff like be proud of your progress um if it's still in your mind it's worth the risk so maybe if i can find like some cute ones think outside the box if i can find some cute ones i'll put them up on my vision board as well so obviously this is not a vision board i keep saying vision board just because that's what i see but it's a prayer board we are praying on it we're not manifesting on our own right we are believing in god for it so that's what i wanted to show you guys so i think i will just take a beat and then i'll start setting everything up is my new desk situation so just as a run through i've got my prayer board over there like i said um and then here is my 
like a professional center so i've got like a couple recognitions and i've got these books that i'm still working through as um working through i've read obviously atomic habits a million times and i've read this one so i just want to put these in full view so i remember to get around and read them and then i've also got um some of my personal books that i need to get through i need to get through women evolve and this book that my bestie gave me this book natasha brown assembly that's just a fave of mine Zanta gave me that book and then this is just purely my decor center so i've put obviously this like um coffee table book that i had a couple vases and then i put my other favorite book of all time um which is the tao of Wu by rizza so if you don't know now you know love me some wu-tang and then just a journal um to add a little height and balance it out and then yeah this is my new lamp so it's looking a little bare but i think i just wanted to clean up my space but now i need to just sort out i'm taking the opportunity to just also clear out whatever has accumulated inside my desk because the reason that i built this desk like this is that i wanted like a lot of storage so now that i'm running out of storage i'm like why when i actually built in a lot of storage into this desk so i think i'm accumulating some rubbish so i think we're gonna go through that and chief among which i think one of the things is that i very much am a save the packaging kind of girl i don't know why y'all know that i live on bees organics uh, it's that legit please just look at how many boxes <laughs> of the stuff that i've gotten like oh my goodness so i don't know because then i just feel like oh it's such good packaging that she uses I feel so bad or maybe I'm just gonna break it down but these have to go I hate the fact that they have to go I wish maybe I could send them back to her to recycle I don't know but it kills me to like put that away but yeah I think I'm gonna put some of like these boxes for my camera and stuff I have to keep because one thing I did not do is read the instructions to this camera before I used it so just in case i need to refer back but i have like a lot of packaging you guys i do have some old books and then i just have like tons of packaging that i keep just in case so i just need to see how i can better store that um to free up more storage in this hole so let me just keep going and then what i really need to do is also set up like my shoe cabinet because that's here so let me just clean this up really quickly and then we'll move from the desk to the shoes a new day new saturday oh my goodness my battery is about to die just when i start vlogging anyways um i realized i showed you guys like my new shelf set and like my vision my prayer board like all hung up but i didn't show you guys my new shoe cabinet so there it is so basically what i was talking about is that when you open it like all the shoes swing out like so so here's the deal and then it swings closed and open again so sometimes the shoes get stuck oopsie but this is it and there's two layers as well so then there's another layer of shoes down below so here they are and yeah i'm really happy with it i think at the end of the day we pulled it together we got it all worked out um took him out of his comfort zone for sure 
but he got it together in the end so that's it that's all i wanted to show you bye